When you hear the leader of the Republicans in the House, the arrogant fascist who already believes he is destined to become speaker, say, quote, I want you to watch Nancy Pelosi hand me that gavel. It'll be hard not to hit her with it. When you hear him say that and then hear a fascist rally roar with applause and delight and laughter, do you ever ask yourself what I have asked myself for years? Namely, are they all buzzed? I don't necessarily mean illegal recreational drug use, cocaine and such, looking at you, Junior. I mean painkillers. The misogyny and the violence are baked in. They are now, as my friend John Dean so perfectly put it, conservatives without conscience. But the newish Republican idea that the rules and the laws don't apply to them, or that they'll get away with it, or that nobody will notice, or that later they can lie and deny and say, I was joking, that is the precise side effect of opioid use. This is not to minimize addiction, nor is it to excuse fascism. But Rush Limbaugh lived on OxyContin. His housekeeper helped him obtain enough to take 30 a day. When Kevin McCarthy followed his fantasy of violence against the Speaker of the House by saying he was, quote, obviously joking as if that made things better, didn't he sound like Limbaugh? The way Trump sounds like Limbaugh? Wouldn't that explain Giuliani, Gates, Trader Green, half the people on Fox News? The irony, of course, is that these are the same people keeping half of America from getting a drug that would actually help them and help, you know, mankind. And by the way, the solution to the vaccine slackers is not what you may think. A new study by the Kaiser Foundation says 9% would be likelier to get jabbed in exchange for a $20 food coupon and 14% for $100 in cash. But 40% of them would be more likely to get vaccinated if it were required in order to go to large gatherings like ball games. 41% if vaccinations were required to fly. So it's the stick that works, not the carrot. But of course, what would really get this done is if we make it mandatory and we convince the anti-vaxxer fascists that the shot also gets you buzzed.